Hi everyone, I'll be doing a quick tutorial on KeyPass XC, which is an open source offline password manager that can run on Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Chances are that you have multiple user credentials for things such as your email, banking, online subscriptions, and more. And instead of keeping them in a text file, what KeyPass XC does is stores all this information in a secure encrypted file on your computer. You may see other password managers that store your credentials online compared to being offline, but that just puts a big target on them. These online password manager providers will be targets for hackers, criminals, and other malicious actors as they know this information is very valuable. An example is LastPass, which was compromised and they were able to gain access to all the customer vault data which is why I don't and will not use an online password manager. So I'm going to be downloading, installing, and then using KeePass XC. So you go to the site keypassxc.org and then just hit download. And I'm running Windows, so you just download for Windows. And after it's downloaded, I'm going to go to my folder and I'm going to install it. Accept the terms. Next. I'm going to keep the default and I'm going to have it auto start on login. Install. And I'm going to launch it. I'm going to hit finish. If you get this error here about the code execution cannot proceed because VC runtime 140.dll was not found, you just have to download the redistribute for this. So just open up a new tab here and I'm going to search for VC runtime 140.dll and key pass. And then click on the first link via GitHub. And there's a link here about downloading the necessary library. You click on it. And I have an x64 version of Windows, so I'm going to click here. And it's done downloading. I'm just going to OK this error window and go into my Downloads folder, I'm going to install the redistribute, install. OK, it has completed. So I'm going to run KeePass again. And I'll have a check for updates on startup. When you first start up KeePass XC, ask you if you want to create a database, open or import a file. So I'm going to create a new database. And I'll just call it my database, database demo, continue. And here's the encryption settings. You define the decryption time, how long it takes higher values, offer more protection. Database format, I'll use it as the default, KDBX4. And if you go to advanced settings, you get to change the encryption algorithm, the KDF, the key derivation function, the transform rounds, the memory usage, and the parallelism. Now the defaults are just fine, so I'll just keep them as they are, and you can always change them later if you want to. So I'm gonna hit continue. And here's the database credentials, and you can go to add additional protection. And so you got your password that you can put in, and then you can have a key file. A key file is a file on your computer that you can use that is needed to open up the database as well. And then the challenge response, you can, if you own a UB key or an only key, you can use this for additional security. This is what a UB key looks like. You plug it into your USB port, and then you can use it to provide additional security for your database. So going back, I'm going to do password, and then I'll do a key file. So for a key file, I'm going to add a key file. And then you can generate a new key file or choose an existing one to protect your database. So I'm going to generate a new one. I'll put it in my downloads folder. So I'll call it my key file. And for the password, you can click on the square here. It will generate a password. And you can have uppercase, lowercase numbers and symbols. And you can use extended ASCII. And you can change the length if you want it longer or if you want it shorter. Or you can have the passphrase as your password. And you can generate it through the default word list here, and then you can define how many words. So for example, seven here, and the word separator is a space, and the word case, so you can have lowercase, uppercase, and you can have title case. So going back to password, so this is going to be your master password, so ensure that you keep it safe. So I'm going to use this password that was generated. Hit apply. So it's asking me to save my database. So go to my downloads folder and I'll call it database demo. Now to ensure my database was set up properly with the password and the key file, I'm going to close it and reopen. Open. So if I just enter in the password and I hit unlock, 
says here, error while reading the database, invalid credentials were provided, please try again. So I'm gonna put the key file as well, unlock. And so it's working as expected. And now I'm gonna add in an entry, click the plus here, and then title, Steam account, example, my Steam account. So there's the password field, so you can put in your password. And just like before, if you wanna generate a password, click on the square, and I'm gonna generate another password. I'll hit apply. And you can put a URL for this. So I'll put in steampowered.com. And you're gonna put in a note if you want. And next option is advanced. And under here, there's additional attributes that you can add, and there's attachments that you can put as well. So you can attach files using the add button. Next is icon, and you can change the icon that you have here, or you can select a custom icon. And I'm just gonna use this disk here. Next is auto type, and you can enable auto type for this. So for example, you can use this to automatically type in your username and password. And finally, there's properties, and it just tells you when it's created, modified, and accessed. And after you're done, you hit okay. And if I go to my entry here, right click, and there's a keyboard shortcut for copy username, control B, copy password, control C, and copy URL, control U. And what's great about it is that if I copy the username, for example, you'll see at the bottom right, it'll clear the clipboard in seven seconds. So then anything in there would be removed because this is sensitive information, which is great to have it removed from the clipboard after 10 seconds. So that's it. That's how you can use KeePass XT to store your user credentials offline in a safe and secure manner. I hope this video was useful and I thank you for watching. Bye now.